How's it going guys? Uh, today I wanted to talk to y'all about the IR laser. I mentioned it during the PVS 14 review I did a couple days ago from Dark Industries and I bought this on the same day through a company called Nix Night Vision. Uh, as always, I pay for all this stuff out of my own pocket. Nobody donates anything or gives anything to me uh it's it's all stuff i buy so when i bought it i was uh i owned a d ball before an i2 it's a, a cheaper version i think i spent a thousand bucks for it uh, and you can get uh, a d2 that's about two thousand dollars that has the illuminator uh visible ir laser I mean, visible laser and the IR laser. Uh, but the D-Ball I2 is just the IR and illuminator. And that's all I needed. I'm not a real visible laser guy. Uh, I would never use it. But on this setup, I wanted a better laser. That I2, the range on the laser itself and the illuminator was not very impressive. So I wanted something better. And in all honesty, I was looking at a mall, uh, but a mall is 35, 3,700 bucks. And then since I was last looking for an IR illuminator, they've come out with a few extra ones. ZL Tech has one and uh, Wilcox has the Raid. And there's the PEC 15s. Uh, and I was looking at all those, but in the research, um, there's a YouTube channel called 4MR Ranch, and he did a two hour long video doing comparisons of all the lasers. Uh, almost every one you can get your hands on that's available today. Uh, full power lasers, civilian power lasers, as well as the knockoffs, the Somo gear and, and things of that nature. Uh, but the standout in that review was this three electrons uh, designate IRV laser. Now, when you look at it, some people think that it looks like a 3D printed uh, laser. And, and to be honest, I don't know how they make it, uh, but it doesn't look like some cheap 3D printed stuff or feel like that when you have it in your hand. There's no seams on it. It's extremely clean. It feels very solid in the hand and it has a metal mounting plate on the bottom for the Picatinny rail. Um, so I'll say straight out the gate, that was one of my only apprehensions was the, uh, the way it looked. Uh, it just didn't look as finished as a mall or a, uh, PEC-15, and the PEC-15s, I, I think even when you buy them things brand new, they look beat up already, uh, salty. Uh, but the the RAID and the EOTech uh, IR laser, they look absolutely amazing. But aesthetics isn't what it's all about. Uh, and on this 4MR Ranch video, there was two things that was extremely important to me. Uh, and that was performance of the IR laser and the illuminator, as well as how it mounts on the weapon. And the thing with the D-ball and, and other uh, lasers is generally you have to get a riser for your optic because the laser sits so high if you mount it on the top of the rail. You can mount it on the side of the rail, but I find that gets in, in the way quite often. Uh, so I prefer to have it on the top of the rail. And one of the best things about this one is it is absolutely low profile. And you can tell just from looking at that, when you look through the optic, you can't even see the laser uh, it's as if it's not even there. And to me, that was very, very important. Uh, you can see how low it rods.
And so I knew uh, right away that it was something that I was interested in. And then when I looked at the 4MR Ranch demonstrations, the illuminator and the laser uh, on this thing is just as, if not more impressive than the mall. Uh, at 500 yards, the illuminator is very usable and the IR laser is extremely usable. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, taking 500 yard shots at night is not necessarily realistic. Uh, you may play around at the range and do that, but taking 500 round, 500 yard shots in the daytime with a short barreled AR-15 isn't uh, the purpose of why I built this weapon or have it. Uh, I, I view 300 yards as under and under is, is is what this weapon is made for. If I've got to reach out further than that, or if I'm in a situation where that is needed, uh, I'll pull out the, the 762, the spear. Uh, but for this purpose, inside of a house, street fighting scenarios, uh, 300 yards and under. While this thing has capability of reaching out to 500 yards, it is extremely capable at 300 yards and below. Uh, and so this laser itself, I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, was two grand. That's what I paid for it. Um, but it performs just as good as a $3,500 mall. Uh, and from all the reviews and, and torture testing and things that I've seen, it holds zero very well. You don't have a lot, of, you don't have any problems. Some of the older versions you did, but this newer version, uh, the designate uh, doesn't have all those problems. And if you do have problems, the customer service on these is absolutely amazing. Uh, these guys do everything they can to make sure that you're squared away. And so it's pretty straightforward laser it doesn't it's not complicated there's not a whole bunch of stuff to figure out it runs off a, a off of a cr123 battery that mounts right in here uh which is similar to most lasers and mounting it has a very tactile and audible click uh with the actuation button and this button gives you your your features and uh, the features it gives you is a visible laser. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that at all. Probably not. Uh, my lighting in here is crazy. But it has a green visible laser. It has a IR laser alone. It has a illuminator alone. And then it has a combination of IR and illumination. Uh, and what almost feels like another setting is it also has a diffuser that you flip that up and it goes full power at that point. Uh, and the illuminator, if you wanted to see the power of the illuminator and the laser, uh, I would uh, ask you to go look at that 4MR ranch video. Uh, I mean, that thing is, is, is an amazing video. It's it's one everyone should watch if you are interested in, uh, you know, marrying night vision to a weapon system with an IR laser. It, it's pretty amazing. But I will tell you that this laser, while some people, uh, and I am some people, think that these things are far overpriced. I mean, quite often the IR lasers cost more than the actual nods themselves. Uh, you can get a really, really nice high foam PBS 14 with great specs for 3,500 bucks. Uh, and then your laser costs you another 3,500 bucks is ridiculous. So I'm, I'm happy to see that lasers are being made, IR lasers are being made that are bringing the cost down. And $2,000 is still, it's still very expensive. I would love to see these things about a thousand dollar range. But we don't have that yet. Uh, so this gives me almost all the performance, if not 
does give me all the performance of a $3,500 Maw, outperforms the Raid, uh, outperforms the PET 15 uh, from the information I've seen. And even the creator uh, on 4MR Ranch that's actually handled and tested all those lasers uh, made a video not too long ago stating that this was his top pick of all those. It was this laser itself. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you're getting so much for the price. $2,000 is still steep. There's no doubt about that. But it is uh, exceptional in comparison to you can almost very well pay twice as much as that. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about that. Uh, for the guys that do watch my channel, I appreciate it. Uh, and if you are thinking about getting into nods, give these guys a look. Uh, you can save yourself quite a bit of money. Uh, even in comparison to a D-Ball uh, D2, this is the better option for many reasons. I mean, the illuminator and the laser is, is great on this thing. The low profile aspect of it and how it rides on the weapon is amazing. It's durable. Customer service is outstanding. Uh, so I, I would say that this uh, three electrons infrared DIRV is uh, an amazing option. Uh, it's the one I went with and I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I went through, you can get them from different places. Um, there's several different um, brokers online that sell them. But I bought this one through this NYX Night Vision. And I think where whoever you buy from, it will come with this hard case. Uh, he sent mine with four batteries with some anti-fogging uh, cream, uh, goo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and he sent me some cool stickers and and I think he even threw some candy in there as well. So it's uh if you're thinking about looking at this, uh take a look at Nick's night vision as well. He's uh he's very a very good guy to work with, uh and he communicates very well. Alright, thanks for watching.